What's going on guys? So we are here at the GT World Cup Series at Sonoma Raceway and holy fuck guys, I don't know if the camera will do any of this justice but we got some serious race car business happening right now. Some serious race car business. Wow. Have you ever seen a Bentley race car? No, nah, never. Until today. Oh, nice Ferrari, bro. Holy cow. Dude, my favorite's the NSX, dude. Oh, really? Dude, there are some beautiful Porsches, man. Look at this. Oh, yeah. I have never seen these type of race cars in person ever in my life. Check these out. Hey, Adam, so I'm tired. Where are you at? Where are you at? <laughs> yeah, Uncle Adam, what's good? What's good? Where? This NSX right here. Oh, yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah, Brad's done a great job. I wonder how much those fenders cost right there, dude. He's been out to uh, set sail. Wow. He's about eight tenths quicker than that last lap. Wow, dude. Yo, Arlen. We need those jacks at the shop, dude. Look at those jacks. We need those. Uncle Kerry, can you hook us up with those? <laughs> Where are my Honda boys at? We got a single exhaust right here. We got a, a young driver, it's probably 14. <laughs> Uncle Kerry, I got, I bet you 20 bucks this Mini Coupe's gonna win the whole race. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's only on some inside knowledge. Three jacks. Dude, I know. I need, we, I need this for the shop, dude. Those jacks look so sick. Oh, uh, the center yeah, lock hubs. Yeah, it's some real race car so stuff. Good luck today, Owen. Thanks again for coming up. I really appreciate it. What's up, bro? <laughs> hey, dude, how much do you think that wing costs right there? <laughs> More than my car. <laughs> hey, Lumasthetic, where you at, Lumasthetic? Yo, hey Adam, thanks for the sweet pass, bro. No problem. <laughs> or Bentley VIP. I know, oh, Bentley yeah, VIP yeah. sweet pass at Sonoma. Hey, I got you a protein shake. You should have some. Oh, <laughs> Just have some. Have some. Awesome. Dude, you gotta do it for the vlog, bro. You gotta do it for the vlog. <laughs> Who knew protein shakes taste so bad? <laughs> yeah, dude. We got some real race car shit going on. What's up, Necho? Snaps. Hey bro, I think you're fucking last. <laughs> it's the same the safety car. You're fucking last, bro. Oh. They're coming in hot, fellas. Oh dude, that guy in front's killing it. Dude, he's fucking killing it. If you ain't first, you're last. <laughs> if you ain't fucking first, you're last, bro. <laughs> Dude, these cars look so sick from far away. You can't even see the wheel gap, bro. <laughs> he fucking bapped it, dude. Yeah, hella camera though. He bapped it. Wait, is there a camera really? Get this retire. Oh no. Oh no, dude. What you got there, bro? I found some Bentley earplugs. Bentley earplugs. I'm gonna post these at auction on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a starting price. Yeah, eat that taco. Let me see eat that taco to keep it. Oh yeah, Russians eat, watching Russians oh. eating, man. <laughs> Sexy. <laughs> this is how you know this is a luxury suite, man. Look at all these chargers, man. I don't even think there's enough phones in here to use all these chargers. Right, Arlen? <laughs> so Nemcho and I have been walking around for 15 to 20 minutes, and we finally found a location with beer, right, Nemcho? Yep. Finally, it's been 20 minutes. But at least, as we're looking, as we're on our quest for alcohol, at least there are some dope cars to look at. So, this thing's pretty sick. What do you think of the event so far, Nemcho? That was pretty cool. Yeah. It's good to see cars that have been dripping a while. Yeah. I mean, it's not drifting, like, you still, like, entertained by it? Yeah, for sure. I even have a Lego of one of the cars. It's, it's weird to see it in real life, so yeah. So here we got Nemcho's Super Rad S14. You got anything to say about it, Nemcho? 
as well as it's well. a 95 to 40 it was completely base uh -huh. like full lug had nothing it was just automatic car it was called the queen virgin because i really bought it as a virgin uh -huh. by a grandma actually my friend sold it to me but he owned it like four times he sold it to other people and he kept buying it back and sold it selling it and all that one day i just wanted to go crazy so in four weeks we literally this car used to be gold and navan stock body on bf1 and in four weeks we pretty much put white body new body kit cookie conversions and yeah a bunch of stuff um, this yeah, thing looks fucking nice insane series. bro what wide body kit is this the front are uh, BN and the rear are Origin Type 2. The front bumper and the rear valance are from uh, a PAX uh, body kit. Uh -huh. And I did not really well know that. I, and you cannot really find much information about them. Yeah. But that's what I want to go for. And the, the side is just like a mix of Navan. This, this is like a FRS part actually of eBay and this is like a Mazda 3 that we just cut. So there's a lot of things on this car that I've been like Mickey Mouse to a little bit. Yeah. But I really have a really precise vision of the car and just didn't want to do like everyone. But yeah, so that's pretty much the result. Like these things are actually vents from track sprint, uh, motorsport, the motorsport, I don't recall. Yeah. And they're like for car vents actually. Damn dude, this thing looks so unique man. Killing it with the interior too. Yeah, so Sick, bro. The track was completely. The dash was completely cracked. You could fit like literally a coin in the cracks. Uh huh. So oh, wow. We sent it everything down, and instead of going with bundle, we went to JP Well, which is stronger, and then went with a flock flocking finish. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah. Flock is so nice because you don't get any reflection on the windshield. Pretty too. much, yeah. And also, it, it kind of like hides my really bad. Bondo job, Bondo JB <laughs> There's the vent here that everyone asks about and they're actually asking what this is for. But pretty much I have, it's kind of hard to see, but I have an air pump that goes straight to my helmet so it can cool me down. Sick, that, like that. Is, that is nice. That yeah. is really nice. Because then usually it gets hot and you people end up taking their helmet off after runs. You don't have to. Pretty much, yeah, because I mean, like, it used to be a drift car, so you're actually waiting more in line than you're actually on the track. Exactly. And you're pretty much dying. Yes. Yeah. And even if with the blower or anything, it's pretty much blowing hot air at you. Another one off part from that guy over there, BM Spin. The oh player. shit, right there. I'm so thankful for him to actually spend some time to develop this. And I'm sure he absolutely hates me from this now. Yeah. But it's okay, I got it. But yeah, he did a double grenade flap for the JDM wing for the S14. That is and sick, dude. Yeah, it was that definitely one thing I absolutely have had to have on my car. So I bugged him like at least five, like five times over the course of three years and all that. And he finally made it happen. Damn, dude. Full custom, bro. This is sick. Super functional. It was good. The wheels, they were off uh, S15 that was uh, built by Speed Element. It was a uh, Rocket Bunny S15 from Daniel. It was a demo car for Mikein. So as far as I know, it's one of the first set of uh, 57 CR that came into the US. Yep. And it came pretty much off the S15 and I got it back from him because he actually wanted all the set ones. That is rad, dude. Thank you so much, Nemcho, for talking about your car with us. This thing looks insane, man. Great parts, very custom, bro. Really good work, brother. Really good work. And over here, guys, as you can see, we got some work done by Illum Aesthetic. You can kind of see it. Yup. That's sick, man. That's fucking sick. What's going on, everybody? So I'm here with Eric Sue. He's going to be pretty much talking about this. NSX. This is an NSX GT3. It's a bit different than the production car. The production car is hybrid. This is not. So, with the hybrid motors gone, we rely solely on the internal combustion engine, which is a twin turbo V6. Okay. You know, power varies. It's around, say, 550 horsepower. It's 550 horsepower, but it could go for like a long, long race, like the, like the 24 hours in Daytona, gotcha. something like that. It's gonna last the entire race and make that power go full, full time. But otherwise, uh, GT3, so it's homologated from the FIA to be a certain spec. Uh -huh. Teams, they have some range in making adjustments with aero or suspension, stuff like that. But the idea behind a GT3 car is that it's a factory built race car where teams can 
uh, can race them without having to worry about fabricating stuff or building stuff. Okay, you know, gotcha. Overall, it just makes it a cheaper car to race. Okay. I didn't know that. That's actually really cool to know. So it's, even though there's a lot of like cosmetic and a lot of aero, probably like weight reduction, as far as the motor, it's, you're saying it's basically factory? Yeah, the motor's pretty much stock. Um, there's certain things uh, on the outside of it to make it more reliable for racing. The racing environment's pretty tough. Yeah. There's a lot of vibration, a lot of heat, mm -hmm. uh, and it's constant heat and vibration. So there's some changes there to make it more reliable for racing, but otherwise it's pretty close to stock. You know? No freaking way, dude. That is insane. Right off the bat, you look at this car, you do not think it's stock. Well, thank you very much for explaining that, man. Really appreciate it. Blew my mind. tell that it's been driven like there are definitely some battle scars here all over the car and this arrow just by looking at it you can tell it's not cheap at all and it's just been through some shit dude I don't even know what these are if they're tire marks definitely not bugs but dude look at that it's gotta be expensive man but Cody how much you think that <laughs> that cost right there. Not as bad as you think of. <laughs> oh, really? About as much as making your Subaru rear wheel drive probably. Yeah, probably. Look at that. Jesus. Dude, it, it is getting hot out here, out here guys. Car Super back, hot. Car it is summertime, car, but dude, yeah, sweating out here. Perks, baby. Oh, we don't want the sugar free, man. We don't want the sugar free. Oh yeah. So I'm here with Robbie again, basically gonna talk about the whole GT3 World Cup Series experience. So far, honestly, my experience, it was really fun. It was definitely really hot today, but a couple things are gonna be added for next year, right? Well, yeah, yeah. Elaborate. You know, beyond the motorsports elements of the race, you know, obviously we got sports cars and current cars racing all around, but uh, we really want to expand on the car show element, bring music and entertainment to the venue. So that cool. Overall, it's just, uh, uh, there's so many things to do here for the family, for your, with your friends. Yep, uh, yep. Just make that overall experience really cool. Uh, and the racing. <laughs> yeah, and, and then you're exposed to some really awesome racing uh, with some high dollar cars from Ferraris and Lamborghinis and Bentleys to the touring cars like the Hondas and Volkswagens and Hyundais. So, uh -huh. Thank you guys for coming out. It's, it's, Sonoma is a, a wonderful facility and I'm, I'm glad we got to share this experience with you guys. Yeah, it's great. It's super fun. Thanks for having me. Great experience. Never experienced this type of racing and, you know, just all the technicality behind it. I got to see the NSX, bro. That, yep. that shit was wild. And learning about, you know, the rules and, like, basically how they run it. And the NSX mode is stock, you know? Yeah, and a lot of these cars have streetcar parts. Uh, you know, a lot of the people that work behind the scenes have come from the tour community. I also have, you know, the tour community with D-Sport and IDRC is working with a lot of the people that are here. So, uh, so it's just, you know, powering your passion and, and you know, gets you really cool places like this. Absolutely. That was so cool. Awesome. Thanks for coming out. Absolutely. And uh, hopefully for next year, it'll be dialed up. If you guys want to come, I will most definitely be making it out next year. So, what an experience.